Alright, this is a 1979 Kmart 20 inch box fan model K223. Yes, I just turned that fan off. I got this fan from a flea market for 15 bucks. It was worth it. Uh, it runs really good. It's in really good shape. A couple of vents got lost while moving because I just moved to a new condo and all that wonderful crap, but they're all down there in the bottom of the fan, so I can just glue them right back in there. No big deal. This fan's in really, really good shape. It does have some surface rust in the bottom, but I think I can get rid of it. It's got my all-time favorite Kmart box fan sticker on it. Let's go ahead and flip it around. Oh, this one's heavy. The cord's caught up. There we go. And it lost two vents there and one on the front. Not a big deal. So we take it's got a McMillan motor. It's got one of the higher speed McMill motors where low is like medium, medium is like high, and high is like super. I have two of these liquid fans that are like that. I have this and I have 81P223. It's like that too. Let's go ahead and fire it up on low. If you'd like to call it that. It takes a second to get up to speed. I've tried using this thing as a nighttime fan, and even on low, it just freezes me out. I can't do it. It has to be on the other side of the room. Let's go up to medium. Which is like high. Actually, I'd say it's a little bit faster and high on this one. And then let's go to high, which is like super. Now it's a reduction between medium and high. Being it's got a high speed motor, it does show a lot more air. Let's go ahead and shut it off. This fan's got a good coast down time. Really good, actually. It's got great bearings. This fan definitely has not seen a lot of use in its life. I didn't have to do much work to it when I got it. The motor was so clean inside, I just gave it a quick blow with the air compressor and it was good to go. Most of the time I get these Kmart box fans, I gotta pull the whole motor all apart and get all the dust brushed out and still end up having to air blow it in the end. I want this one, which was very nice. Uh, it's nice to sometimes not have to take the whole motor apart. That gets old after a while because it just consumes a whole lot of time. And then you gotta spend time cleaning all the rest of the parts and by the time you're done, you got like three hours into the thing just trying to clean it. I'd be, I think this one only took me like 45 minutes to get the whole fan clean and ready to go. Yeah, very good fan here. So, thanks for watching.